Welcome back, folks, to Pillars of Eternity. Was that? What was that? Buick. Had to be. Yeah, I guess so. We're lucky to be alive. And we're the only ones. Yeah. We can't stay here. There could be another collapse. We're not getting out that way anyway. Let's get further inside. Okay. All right. I'm here. So this is the direction we came from. The lower levels and then seem to be blocked off by fallen rubble. Oh yeah, I threw my weapon. I forgot about that. That should be far enough. But what now? Hmm. We look for another way out. Storm has to die sometime. Who attacked us? Gefelthians, they were the hut dwellers. Our Bryn warned you about. Look to be fangs of Garlon, who were who were the twitchiest of the lot. They go ruins to ruins looking for fights with colonists. Poor Alan. I think he half expected this once we lost the main road. Uh, the Geffen said that we were trespassing in the ruins. I'll believe that. I would never allow it. But as much as the fangs are hotheads, Reynolds wouldn't uh, don't attack without being provoked. Either they saw something and got the wrong idea, or she glances down at the passage below. Or there's looters in here with us. That's not something we need right now. Uh, what about everyone else in the carrier van? Uh, his lips press together and, and her chin rumples. The wheels got a hold of them now. Uh, gods grant them better luck than uh, in their next lives. Alright, what happened out there? Well, I'm pretty confident I know what happened. I don't really need my weapon. Not when I'm a Bannis. It's a good question. A torch. Hammer and chisel, mace, camping supplies. All right, is that it? Let's see if there's a tab. Yep, there is a tab. Nice. I remember that in old school. We've discovered camping supplies. You can use these to rest in the wilderness or dungeon, fully restoring all of your character's abilities and health. Easy difficulty allows you to carry more supplies, but harder restricts them severely. If you fully run out of camping supplies, try to find an inn. Uh, most have cheap rooms available. Okay. A trembling, sickly creature emerges from the darkness, clutching a spear. Kami elbows you in thin ribs, showing through its scaly flesh. But you recognize it as a... Crux rip? It watches you, cautious, breathing in ragged sighs. Uh, raise your arms and stand still. Creature cocks his head and approaches you. A soft clicking uh, emanates from the back of its throat. The creature sniffs around uh, you and finds nothing of interest. It steps back and it resumes its defensive pos position. It's okay, I won't hurt you. Trying to recoil, his finger is still wrapped tightly around its spear. Creature cocks his head and approaches you. A soft click remaining emanates from the back of its throat. Um, no need to get into a fight. Slowly back away as you go. See if it was protecting anything. I guess it's that. Alright, what is this? You have a thief, right? You should reach a dangerous place lurking in enemies enabling scout mode to move stealthily and search for hidden objects. Be quiet. Yes? Hmm? Found something. Oh wow, oh wow. Oh. Oh wow. Can you disable these? Yes, you can disable these. Oh, 
Okay, um... Found something. I'm glad we brought this guy with us. He's a rogue of some sort. Wow. So if we didn't bring a rogue, then what would happen? Kind of need to save, to save him. Wow, how are you? Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. I'm here. So we can walk across now? Oh, there's a door right there. Um, let's go scouting. Symbols of power and circle inscribed on this pillar. An unlit brazier sits in the base and it would be lit if you had the means. Use a torch. They'll never know I'm here. Sure. I'm here. How can I help? So what were we I guess. Yes. Okay. I assume that did something. I see a body. So How can I help? Oh, what is that? Lesser black ooze. Let's see a range attack. The sky mode is both the stealth and to find hidden objects. There we go. Oh, we need to get him a weapon. Let's see what we got here. Let's give him a torch. All right, cannot you equip weapons? Okay. All right. Ooze. Where'd that slime come from? Let's see what this is. Polax. So just go ahead and have him equip. Porch. There we go. Torch is a decent weapon. It's got fire damage and stuff. My mucky things cling to the torch. Uh, very slick. Bulges, oozes out, and like this. Use your wire skin to clear it off. Sure. You rinse the ooze away, revealing an intriguing reason for the sunburst. Trying to it appears to chipped away from the place with the details of his head from the tight penis. One eye socket is empty, a gem fills the other. So a gem, we need a gem. I'm here. Okay. I'm here. Could that Creature be guarding a gem? That's what I'm betting. I think this is a sneaking. I'm pretty sure that this is sneaking. How can I help? They'll never know I'm here. Hopefully.
I think that's it. That's what we need. Well, I guess we didn't need to kill that guy. Cool. Yes. So we have the gem now. Add it to the stash. Place the gem in the eye socket. Chairman begins to rumble, stray rocks dancing, and finally a large section of the wall gives way. You lost an item. Aw, oh, shenanigans. Let's do this. There we go. So, fire doesn't really do much to it. Interesting. Uh, looks like... Also, we have some sort of journal. A small folio of torn pages, blood soaked into several sheets. One later entry is still legible. I can't believe my luck. A few rounds of dice and I've got my hands in June and it's an artifact. The fellow who had it said that it was pretty it was a pretty nothing as far as he concerned. He is not even willing to go dig in some ruins, but if he was right about the gem leading to a hidden treasure, that's worth the past sneaking a few painted L's. I had to since the morning it seems like a matter of finishing it about okay. So this is the treasure. My cloak of protection, amethyst. Yes. So let's go ahead and put that on our main character. My cloak of protection. That's nice. It's very yes. nice. Anything else? Oh, I guess not. That's it right there. I'm kind of curious on what the creature is holding. If it's not the gem, then what is it then? Hmm? Sneaky time. Let's see if we can make it. Run, 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 run. I think we're okay. Awesome. What did he steal? He stole lock picks and a potion of minor regeneration. I'm here. We Wait. don't know. Did you hear that? What is that? Let's go ahead and turn into a werewolf. Oh, wow. Well, that was easy enough. Short mead. It's a hatchet. I shall. That looks weak. Could be a shortcut. Um, push on the wall. Push on it yourself. Nice! Didn't have to use the chisel. I'm uber strong. The wall crushes down, revealing a circular room ahead. That's a good idea. Hmm? Since we don't know what's going on here. You, okay. 
you right there. And then we'll attack. Want you to trip him. Want you to turn into a wolf. And want you to stab him. Nice. This is a good combination, I think. I think it's a good combination. Oh. Let's have him stealth. I'm here. So it's good to have a rogue. How can I help? I'm here. Oh, spiders. Stab. Stab at thee. Oh, so I guess we didn't need to go this way. Uh, how are we going across? I guess that would have been a consequence had you not done anything with that. Oops. Fire seems to be super effective against these guys. Is there anything here? Yeah, there's something here. Bats are l bats larger than going to wood labs. Anything? Anything else? Yeah, there's something down here. A helmet. Um, sure. Let's see what the helmet does. Right click for details. Helmets come in many forms. From the humble pad uh, to the... Let's see your different styles tend to be different things, but inside the range of the army, type in helmets. Personality. Sure. That looks cool. I'm cool with that. Let's go. Your character's bio writes itself as your adventures unfold. Check the journal tab. All right. Can we go back? I guess we can go back. Oh, what is this? An older robed man. Four figures stand before the otherworldly apparitions. Uh, An ancient structure of chiseled and and. and Metallic vein, ominous and looming like a silent observer. Standing motionless in the midst of what appears to be a human body, colorless as stone or ash. The other figures gaze upon it and what might be contemplation. Uh, from your vantage point, you are well obscured from their view. The figures closest to the machine stands out. Among them, a thick gray beard uh, frames a face otherwise hidden beneath a metallic mask. His faded robes are embroidered with a runic language unlike anything you have ever seen, and he wears a strange black headdress with two protrusi protrusions that jut out like the wings of some malevolent creature. Both binder bear witness, and see this man has kept his word true to his last breath. Full last drop. Guide his soul, ye emperors, and regard it among your favored. Let his life by the key be his confession. Let his death by the key be his absolution. May he walk the world ever free of the crushing weight of the book. Your brother has done his part, and you have seen the power of his contribution. I will accept no further hesitation from the rest of you. In the sight of the Queen of Wolves, will you fulfill the oath? Will you take your place beside your brother in the endless esteem of her memory that is without flaw? Step forward and be assured of the great worth of your life's purpose. Okay. Oh, 
okay. <laughs> For an instant, the aberration goes quiet and the air is still. Then all at once it erupts with a, con a concussive surge. Light floods your vision and you are knocked to the ground. Your head snaps back as you land and pain wells within the back of your skull, washing your last thoughts away into a black unconscious void. You open your eyes to a different place. Another time, you stand in a circular room, uh, grand and dorm, its walls lined with iron and trimmed with copper. Style is ancient, but the chamber is unweathered. At the part, at the far end, a great pillar of Aranus pierces the floor from below, its shimmering con uh, texture giving the illusion of boundless depths. Encircling the pillar is the uh, Abaricious. Apartis. Um, much like the one you have just seen, but immense and multifaceted and intertwined. Your thoughts are yours and not yours, and they seem to exist before you think them, and they are all questions. Pressing questions, troubling questions, questions that must be answered, or, or. At the base of the pillar now you see a man with a thick gray beard and ceremonial robe, crowned with his single ornament headdress. You know this man, you have walked towards him now, and the pace is hurried while trying not to appear so. You have something you want to ask him, one question above all. The question spins madly in your mind. Okay. The funk? You'll wait to find your voice has been broken, only to be replaced with something far more concerning. Faint whispers of audible at the edge of your hearing, like a ringing in your ears that does not subside. Movement flirts uh, through your pers pers per per but when you turn to look, you can see no sign of whatever it was. You find your gaze regularly darting this way and that, an, invol an involuntary paranoia tick. If this was the sickness, it must uh, it may be dangerous to go without treating treatment for long. The figure at the machine stands frozen in place, flesh and blood replaced by cinder and ash. The man who led them is nowhere to be seen. Henrin and his cousins lie bloody in uneven cobbles, their body twisted unnaturally in death. You are alone and far from help. Gilvel may be your best hope in receiving treatment before things get worse. Okay, your character's earned enough experience to advance the level. Click the icon portion to level them up. What? Yes. Hmm? Did they die? Oh, that's bull honky. I'm here. All right, let's see what we got. Skills. Unused skill points will be carried into the next level. So we can stealth. Athletics. Lore. That makes sense. Druid lore. Explorer lore. Wow, we got two already. Mechanics. Uh, traps and locks are a problem for the toughest adventurer. Draining their resources, maiming or crippling those. That makes sense. Survival. Survival allows characters to make better use of food and potion items they find. The higher the character's survival skill, the longer duration of such items. Survival can be used in, conser in conservation and scripted interactions that involve wilderness challenges or specialized information. So that's pretty sweet. We got six. Twenty... Oh, it costs. Oh, it costs. Okay. Um, plus maximum fatigue, combat fatigue gained. Um, traveling, fighting, scrambling up fallen statues takes its toll. Athletics. Except for penalties for physical, like walking, jumping, climbing. Sure, we'll do that. Oh, let's see here. Stealth. How much does that cost? 
mechanics. Sure, I, I guess we'll divvy it up. Well, I kind of want to learn about the lore, too. Um, sure. Sure, that'll work. I don't know if I want to specialize in anything. Yeah, probably not stealth, because we're going to be a combat monster. Um, let me see here, what is this? <clears throat> Talents are used to customize your character beyond your class ability choice. Some talents modify existing abilities, but others add new abilities to their own. A subtext sense. Um, what is this? Passive. A druid's knowledge of the force allows them to automatically freeze? Crowed. Fire. Uh, I like freeze, kind of like a winter wolf. Like, whoosh, whoosh. that's freeze. Knock him down and freeze him. Let's freeze. Okay, done. All right. Indeed. Oh man. Carrying too much weight. I'm carrying too much. Um. I don't know what all this stuff does. We'll keep the lock picks, battle axe, daggers. Um, let's see your pole axe. I'm not sure what the pole axe does. Crossbow. Small shield. Actually, that's better than what we currently have. Right? Deflection, accuracy. Okay. Sorry, guys. I had to loot your bodies. Whoa, what the? So someone was getting tortured there, I guess. tab and see what it's all going on. Let's see what this person is. Someone being burned at the stake. Sure, we'll collect this. what this is. This massive structure is formed of stone and uh, copper, covered in strange gifts. The air around the vibrations and natural. So what do I do about that? Uh, Velwood? I guess the Velwood would be next. It'll take you six hours to journey there. Sure. Let's do it. Let's enter another area. I don't know what else to do back there. Maybe I should have checked the map. Caribbean shield increases the character's deflection. I only need a minute. Let's see what this is. Camping supplies. I suppose we should uh, camp, I guess. Is that a ghost? I guess that was a ghost. So how do we camp? Oh, that is camp. Okay, cool.
Sure, just rest. Oh, okay. I advanced the story without even knowing it. But nothing happened. I guess this is a good place to stop as any. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you folks in the next video, alright? Bye.